a great match. All right, and we're off another first to three here. Yeah, they're, uh, it's hard to tell who's going to go on in this one. This is a, it's a great matchup right here. These two players, uh, they, they, I, think, I think they play kind of similarly. They're both very efficient players, but uh, they're very, they're very guideline familiarized. Yes. They know, like, you know, they, they, they can go quick when they want to. And I think that the matchup here comes down to comfort of Shockey being more comfortable in TC and RJ being more comfortable in PBT. Both, you know, both players outside their comfort zone at a certain point in this tournament, but right now we expect Shockey to be in his comfort zone while RJ is slightly outside of it. Although he does very well in TC. RJ in is very, uh, he's definitely experienced. Oh man, that is rough. That's a rough misdrop for RJ. RJ definitely a very well rounded player, but Shockey just has the hours and experience in yeah, TC. Yeah, Shockey definitely. Uh, you got to write an ST stack 59 guy. out of ET oh, is wow. insane. RJ's uh, still alive, though. Shockey is bringing this close to that phase three ding. has three quarter zone, probably is going to get that full zone before he needs to zone for that phase three. That is that full zone right here. Expect him to use that one soon. Into phase three, not much more left to say. RJ looks, I, I can't tell. It looked like he was unhappy with the zone at first, but it's shaping up to be decent. He's getting them lines. There's our ding. Ah, 40 attack out of that zone is not great. I would expect Shockey to have um, a similar zone, maybe more efficient. Oh. A ah. 48 puts it at about even here. Yeah, a little behind on that. And so now this is the fight of putting the garbage on your opponent's board. And RJ's, Canceling uh, each other ooh. out so far. RJ decided to go for the Tetris instead of the, getting the Z-Spin easier. I think that was smart. I think it might have been a triple with that misdrop. But. Shocky, uh, misdropping or misreading a floating has caused uh, a little bit of garbage on the bottom of his board, a little bit on the back foot here, hoping to, you know, gain that back. But RJ is just able to R RJ create is, attack right RJ's here. got zone advantage. He's got to recognize that, try to work this board into something good. Uh, now. Has even more time. Max zone. Oh, this is RJ's. Uh, this could be RJ's game. Oh, he's, he's having a There's some hesitation here. Yeah. Oh, Setting up an SDSD. Oh, I like this. I like this play a lot. Aggressive. It is aggressive. And it, it works out. Uh, so for, for the interim. Oh, yeah. It, he's alive. It works out in the sense that he's alive, not in the sense oh, that he's That was splitting. also RJ's chance. Yes. RJ had max zone, but... Just board was too high. Shockey playing very confidently here within that last zone and then within this interaction as well. Taking some nice skims, Ooh. finding the way into the down stack. Yeah, this is looking difficult for RJ, but definitely not impossible. Yeah, both players in a very similar spot on their board right now. Shockey has the speed advantage over RJ, and he definitely is utilizing that. Recognizes it, using it to work oh. you know, against RJ. RJ's got a good, good position right here. Half zone, Shockey setting up an STSD in response. Yeah, smart going to try to combo that down. Ooh, Ooh, big chunk, big chunk. That is a. Oh, this. Ooh. I think Shockey's. I think. Ooh. That Tetris keeps him alive. I think RJ's gonna get him. Oh, here, yeah. RJ got the. Wow, that was a hard fought round. That's what we're talking about with what we <laughs> expect from TEC, and you can see that Shockey does have the speed advantage, was trying to utilize that, but RJ does have the efficiency and does have the phase three uh, macro to take that round. Yeah, that was uh, some great play from, from RJ there to kind of hold on to that advantage in any way he could. It's always such a weird feeling going from phase three chaos back to just like Phase one, it's reset. Well, this is looking like phase three a little bit on yeah. uh, Shockey's board yeah. right now. This is bad news. 
he wants to get out of it without using the zone, and he does that. Looks like he's gonna be okay. It looks like RJ's board is yeah not looking great, but luckily yeah. Shocky's gonna zone here. I don't know how much I agree with this. With what? With the zone there. Oh, it's 46. No, I like it. I like it's it. 46. It was fast. Yeah, he had full zone. Oh. I think that he took good advantage of the opportunity. And if we're talking about what board looks like phase three, she's on the other foot. Yeah, I um. Ooh. Some interesting sacking from RJ. I uh, I don't like this hesitation. Now you kind of have to just like this is a luck game. Uh, I guess not anymore. I guess you're good. I guess. Yeah. Okay. You're fine for now. Still scary. Oh, Ooh, the Z miss drop. If you have the eyepiece and hold, you're fine. Yeah. Not where you want to be right now in this round. Yeah. RJ is alive, but Shocky is in charge and he knows it and is. Yeah, have zone advantage. RJ's got to come up with something quick. And. Shocky going for a higher zone. I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, um, I like that play. From, yeah. Uh, I think. Oh, I I like I like that decision from from RJ there. Yeah, and we did hear the ding for phase three right oh, there. Oh, RJ might still be in this. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I think he's surprised. Yeah, I think so, even I think even RJ. He kind, of, he kind of shook his head a little bit there. <laughs> This is a scary place to be in on both sides here. Yeah. RJ needed to zone a little bit sooner here, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's not gonna... Oh, Ooh. wow. Finding the combo down stack out of that is good. It works for now, but... Shocky has a three-quarter zone here and is gonna take full advantage of it. Finding nice efficiency so far. Very nice IRS to keep the zone going. Yeah, Shocky is trying to push pressure right now onto RJ and is doing so successfully. RJ knows what to do though. He knows what his job is and he's doing it well. Shocky's setting up a TST. A little bit of a hard trap conversation yeah. going on away from us, but yeah. Uh, both players are uh, very high up. It seems like both players are waiting for the other to make a mistake at this point. I can't believe this round is still going. Yes. I would agree. I honestly, uh, I thought it ended at one point. If Shocky can find a good zone here, then I think it's over, but I don't think he has the the attack to make that a good enough zone oh, to end. Oh, RJ needed a zone before that. Yeah, this is. Oh, he's making good choices. Oh, wow. 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 That is lucky. He, that is he, so no, that lucky. Was, that was, that was uh, all skill right there. He, <laughs> okay. He, the key sequence knew. was exactly what he needed, though. Because that's what he was looking for. He said he he, uh, he made it that way. That was... Uh, that he was chose a, the key sequence. He could have gone down with the T piece, and then he saw a sequence that made more sense. Ooh, Shocky getting a little greedy here, and that is not biting him very well. He's shaking his head. He's not happy about the last few moves and how that's affected his board. Finds the down stack for oh, now. Wow. Stays that, alive. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I, I agree. Yeah, you kind of like... This is wild. In your heart, you're almost rooting for RJ here because this was not supposed to happen. No, this was not. <laughs> nope. Not against TCWC champion. Yeah, Shocky, or, uh, RJ like really just made... Uh, a ridiculous comeback, and then now the round is still going. We're up to the five-minute mark. Oh, this is going to be a big zone from uh, from Shocky, though. Yeah. 16. Tw uh, 28 out of 16 isn't too big, but that is enough to make RJ zone on a quarter zone here, and that might be it. Oh, my There's lord. Uh oh. Um. 
Uh, this is quite the game of tug of war going on right now. But if we look at the garbage, Shockey is doing what we stated earlier, stacking on top of the garbage. This is where Shockey don't have any guard. Well, he's got one line. Yeah, now. skimming a little bit down. Not exactly going for the sprint that we see players talk about. Now going into that 9-0, that sprint. This is uh, my favorite strategy personally. Now we get into ST stacking. Oh yeah, he's he's yep. really doing. He's there chuckling. He's <laughs> chuckling to himself. <laughs> this is what the uh, the 12 page what Google Doc sicko. is about. Oh, <laughs> uh, he, he had to break it. That, was, that was a great that was sequence, funny. though. Oh, and we have a fractal setup. And RJ is like still going, going kind of strong. Yeah, RJ oh, rolling with the punches here. Wait, the color here. clear, hold up. Is RJ going to survive this? Okay, no. That is such an insane yeah. cue to deal with. On a three-quarter zone, he's going to be able to clear some of this away, but that might be round. There's, there's kind of an out, but I mean, Shocky, yeah, he's sprinting, he's putting in the pressure. He knows exactly what he needs to do to win here, and he's making sure that he does it correctly this time. Oh my God! Dude. Yeah. Oh God. Six and a half. Six and a half. That is. Yeah, they're both they're both laughing about that one. That what is was your what is your longest uh, round in a normal? I'm pretty normal... sure it was against Shocky. It was well, like ten a, and a half minutes in a normal ranked match. Yeah, it was against Shocky. When, like, yeah, my record. We had, we had like two of them like a day apart, and I was like, we gotta stop meeting each other like this. Yeah, I've <laughs> I've had a I've had a twelve minute round in a ranked match, and your hands just hurt. Yeah, it's, you gotta like shake out your hands after those rounds. It's, they're, it's the pretty fatigue draining. is real. Having a long round in a tournament and then losing. Yeah, I lost my 12-minute round. I almost cried. I mean, that's t RJ doesn't seem like the type to cry. To let cry? <laughs> I I mean, I, I don't know. Over over a 12-minute oh, round. Over a 12-minute no, round. I think RJ. I don't think his stamina will be too affected by uh, that last round, and particularly you know coming up short. It's still a tie game at the end of the day. And if we're talking about stamina, Shocky playing strong in all three brackets. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, he's playing all the games at once, pretty much. Shocky trying to find playing, this higher zone clear. He was playing TGM not. on his laptop. Yeah, why was he playing TGM like TGM three on the laptop? <laughs> Can yeah, you let your hands rest between rounds, bro? I don't know what what Tetris game he hasn't played today. Yeah, right. It's kept him at a tie game right here against RJ. Bro is just about the minos, man. He really mm -hmm. is. Pieces go brrr. That's what is going on in Shockey's head. 24-7, I guarantee it. Yeah, he's definitely dialed in still after yes. all these hours. Can't be me. This is an insane zone right now. This is a wild situation. This is not where you want to be right now if you're Shockey. I love the zoom in. I love the zoom in <laughs> so much. He's locked in. He is locked. Look at that face. Dialed in. I mean, he looks like he's controlling it with his mind. <laughs> it's like Professor Xavier. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's distracting from the game, but the game speaks for itself. Shaggy is going mega mind over All here. All right, we have RJ with a score advantage here. I think this is the first time. Eh, is it the first time? That RJ has triggered the phase three. I think RJ triggered the phase three on the last run, but I don't know because it was 10 minutes ago. So anyways, this is where phase three starts. This is where game starts, in my opinion. Yeah, and uh, it's a... <laughs> Shout outs to Svavar. <laughs> He's great. Love that guy. Him and Estella in the middle of the classic bracket. Yeah, so we're uh, we're rocking with this round right now. Yeah. Uh, Bit of a low zone here from RJ. A lot of soft dropping here towards the bottom, which is not what you want in these zones. Yeah, 27 from RJ, 29 out of Shockey, essentially cancels each other out. Yeah, we got um, another another lengthy round in the making. Yeah. Although Shockey looks like he's got good control on this board, RJ doesn't look like he's going anywhere anytime soon. 
Yeah. This could be a long set. This could be a long set. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're both about halfway up the board. RJ going into a zone there. Interesting play. I don't think it was the correct one. Let's, uh, let's see where this goes. Shockey finding a nice zone here. That's a nice 31. RJ doesn't have a zone at all. He's waiting until that TP's gonna T-spin single into the Okies. He has quarter zone. I don't think that's enough here. Yeah. Yeah, Shockey takes the lead. Four minutes Only and 17. Only four minutes. And this is match point. Going into bracket reset. Could be Shockey. <laughs> he always notices when I move the camera, and he always does that. I appreciate it immensely. It's so funny. He looks straight at the camera. He looks like he moved the camera with his mind. Oh my god. This is, this is literally an episode of The Office. We're just living in it. <laughs> That's so good. Oh man, Shaggy, oh what a legend. Yeah, this is a this is a this is kind of like a classic Xeno set right here. I feel it's long, it's it's gritty, and uh, RJ definitely playing this game like it's PBT. Oh, good IRS there. Nice IRS. <laughs> Love tax evasion. That's here a in very, the yeah, very solid. Forty-eight. Was that forty-eight? I, think that was I wasn't 48. looking. It was forty-eight and seventeen or something. That's good efficiency. Let's see what Shocky has here. Gets the fifty-six out of twenty. And takes garbage. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the the thing. Is the number being bigger isn't always better. You have to consider the time that it takes. For you to raise that and the fact that your opponent can defend x amount of attack during that time shocky fixing this misdrop pretty well very elegant tsd setup as both players neck and neck in terms of score looking to put this over into phase three probably i would expect someone to get or i would expect shocky to get full zone in the zone okay rj is the first with the zone smart move love to see it um, Shockey does appear, at, at least from the very beginning, to have a more efficient zone here. Would expect him to be on the advantage at the start of this phase three. But a 52 ulti. Wow. RJ really brought that zone back. God damn. 57 perfectress from Shockey is going to leave us almost exactly even. Shockey setting up an STSD here. Has to burn a T piece in the stack. Oh. Not happy about that I missed drop, but that's a pretty good fix. Yeah, he's trouble. He, he doesn't know exactly what to do about this, but it's, it's clearing up. He's Blue sky's wearing head. his feelings on his face, though. Yeah. Love to see that. We know exactly where his head is at. RJ with a low or No, no, no. Shockey's zone. I was expecting RJ to zone there. That's a nice 18 attack. RJ is going to be able to tank that with no issue and start a half zone with no damage to, to mitigate. This this looks like RJ's round. Yeah, very Shockey much. Shockey is no zone. This is a match point situation right here. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Tie That's what breaker. I meant to say. Love to see it. Exciting stuff. And if you notice, Shockey is having less of the speed gap as we go. Yeah, Shaki, I think they think all this this exhaustion is catching up to him perhaps. And of course, RJ is going for the opener called Mr. T spins STD. I thought that was sailboat. Pretty sure that was that one. Uh, interesting. The most horrifically named well, opener. I'm gonna, I've I'm ever gonna seen. call it sailboat. I'm pretty sure that was Mr. T spin. If it wasn't then you brought that up unprompted. It to like, that was totally. Uh, anyways, like forget about oh, the name RJ? of the opener. We have a side RJ? ties. Ren Gaming side ties That's here. Not, is that it's sort of? Was no, that not no, a side? That was, like a, that was like a three wide ish oh, situation. It kept changing. Okay. Okay.
What are they doing over there? I'm hearing what all sorts I, of things. What am I hearing in my ears? We're trying to start a fire. Okay. What? what? Oh, so it's caveman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There was like a hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> One of like those. you're making gorilla noises over <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I thought like, it was. Like I can hear that. <laughs> I thought that, like uh, like the Planet of the Apes movie just came out. I think. Anyways. Are you making those noises? <laughs> no, we could just hear you like not into the mic, but like. Okay. We're discussing them though. That's for sure. Okay, the match. RJ with a score advantage. I can't stop. Stop making gorilla noises. I can't handle it. It's so I can't hear like people saying words, and then that's what I am. Like I don't even know what's going on. I love it here. New York, it's all Johnny, right, everybody. This is what I was telling you about. Anyways, phase three now. RG puts it over. Shocky at the bottom of his board with a bit of an upstack really going a into here. This classic match right here. Shocky with an aggressive 6-3 upstack. That's exactly what he needs to do right now. Shocky getting very into it. Oh. Causing Devin to need to adjust the camera. Oh, I, thought, I thought he was going to go for ST somehow. I don't think that would have made sense. He's got a 6-3. Yeah, 6 3 and ST don't go together. Very he did well. that dono, and I was like, are we going to get the, the Super Shocky classic? The classic 6 or uh, ST. Okay, Shocky is definitely going strong. for the throw with his zone right now. Yeah, and RJ got a good one. Oh. Oh, wow. This is interesting. I love how RJ. Shocky looks like he's the most dialed he's ever been in his life, and RJ hasn't like changed expression this entire RJ's time. RJ's working overtime here. He's ready for the spike. He's timing it, baby. He's timing it. Oh my God! Is RJ gonna get the upset? Is RJ here? gonna get the upset here? That's what the it looks upset. like. The upset. Oh. Shocky alive for now. RJ. Ooh, but that that team has dropped. Oh, oh my God! That is not where you want to be right now. Shocky's hanging on for his life right now, and he knows it. He's making good choices, but he is. He's in a he's in a zone or die situation. RJ's. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. RJ what takes an it. Upset. What RJ a tie takes it. Breaker. RJ still got it. Wow. That was a that was a beautifully played round. Incredible of work. Of amazing set right there. RJ both players with the, with the upset here. Yeah, RJ uh, beautiful upset. Honestly, both players you can tell putting their all into those matches and it is it's that wild to see RJ come out on top there against the, real, the TCWC champion. Real great work from uh from RJ kind of no, seeing that he had the advantage and kind of pumping, you know, the foot on the gas a little bit, moving faster, had a little misdrop there, but just didn't let up. Knew that uh, you got to take it where you get it, otherwise we're going to be here for at least another three minutes. And that is the, the TEC macro right there. That's the kind of screen watching and awareness you need to have in that matchup. Yeah, incredible work. Yeah. And RJ goes on to grand. Finals. Wild. Against Cyanar. Against Cyanar, which... 